My father first came to this country in the early 1960s and he began working in the farms here as a, as a farm worker. But the first farm that he worked at was here in Oxnard where he worked for three years. I made a commitment to my father at one point when I was a, a principal and started moving up the ranks in, in the school system that one day when I would become a superintendent that I wanted to serve a, a community uh, like where he started first in America. Oxnard is a working class uh, community, also a, a diverse part of a migrant farm worker community. When serving a community that is primarily 90% free and reduced lunch, the majority of our students need all the help they can get. Do you see that? Can everybody show me your reading finger? Say, this is my reading finger. This is my reading finger. Point. Reading is, is a gatekeeper, and, and it's a must. Having books in the home is essential. Our, our school district is doing its part. Um, we presently have a one-to-one -one tablet initiative where every child has an iPad device. But not only that, we've also loaded it with a digital program, Mayan, and other programs that have the ability for students to download digital material and not only read it at school, but read it at home. Every child in this school district, no matter their income level, has the ability to have 20 new titles uh, to choose from every day. Research shows that uh, time spent reading books is the single best predictor of academic success. The students we are about to honor this evening are definitely going to have that academic success because each of them have read over one million words. <laughs> One of the in unintended consequences of our initiatives here in the Oxnard School District has been that uh, parents are also utilizing our uh, students' tablets at home and they're also uh, reading uh, uh, books and the digital books together with their children, uh, reading to their children, or reading themselves. Yes, y las muchas noches que se acostó con hambre. He was looking for food, but everywhere he looked, there was nothing just empty pots. The only way we're going to uh, best set up our students for su uh, success is giving them um, access to reading, motivating reading, do whatever it takes. How are you? Good. Good. You learned how to read? Yeah. That's cool. And I want students to love to read for the sake of the joy of reading, but I also want them to never have as an excuse any class in general that they don't understand something because they, they don't have a, a strong enough comprehension level. Those of us that are educators, we need to acknowledge we were successful and we've navigated the school system. Now let's help our, our students all navigate it as well. Give me a high five. All right. You read very well. Yeah. You like to read?